Well, let me begin by saying, I, it, ultimately, the, 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 the New Testament's language for maturity uh, belongs to a family of words that mean completeness. And therefore, I think that the simplest way to describe growing in maturity to final maturity is um, the kind of thing that Paul says at the end of 2 Corinthians 3, that we are being changed from one degree of glory to another, and that this comes from Christ through the Spirit as we are transformed into His likeness. Since, uh, if, you, if you think about what Paul says in Romans 8, 29, that the whole goal of his, of his predestination is that we should be conformed to the image of His Son, then you can encapsulate the whole of the Christian life in all its ups and downs, joys and sorrows, afflictions and triumphs, as the way in, in which uh, the Father through the Spirit is conforming us to be like His Son without ceasing to be our true selves in that Son, so that as He conforms us to the image of Christ, Steve and I continue to speak with different accents. We couldn't wear each other's clothes. We have very different abilities. He is characterized by a neatness of being, and I am, to be honest, characterized by huge untidiness of being. <laughs> and that conforming to Christ may, may loosen him up a little. <laughs> um, and the struggle for sanctification in my life is bound to be um, creating a greater order of life so that I am more like Christ and, and more like Steve Nichols <laughs> without shrinking <laughs> or, or developing an American accent, <laughs> that than which nothing greater can be conceived. <laughs> when I was uh, in ministry in Belfast um, 40 years ago, I, I was in my mid-twenties. Uh, my elders were in their sixties and seventies. And one of my elders, um, he, was, he was just a, a beautiful man in every possible meaning of that word. Uh, he had never gone to college. Uh, he'd worked on the railways uh, all his life. He'd had maybe one promotion in his entire life. Um, but when you met him, and, and especially when you heard him pray at the prayer meeting, and, and his prayers were lengthy. They, they were, you know, 15-minute, 20-minute prayers uh, as opposed to, you know, two-minute prayers. Um, I, I always thought, this is what Jesus is like. That when I was in His presence, I felt awe that there was something so godly and so Christ-like about Him, about His speech, about His manner, about His marriage, uh, about the way He related to me. He was old enough to be my grandfather, um, but when I, when I was around Him, when I would visit Him in His home, um, I, I just thought this, this is what Jesus is like. And I think that's what maturity is, that when you're in their presence, they remind you of what Jesus is like. I think the question uh, regarding our maturity and Christian maturity is uh, a very significant uh, matter because it, it, it pertains to everything in the Christian life. And I just want to say one thing when it comes to maturity, that authentic maturity in the Christian life comes fundamentally through suffering. And one of the most dangerous prayers we can pray is that God would mature us, that God would humble us, that God would grow us, because that typically means that He will allow suffering to come into our lives. And what we do with that suffering, 
how we respond to that suffering, not exploiting it, but humbling ourselves and enduring it as we fix our eyes on Christ is the only genuine path to true Christian maturity.